it may be more than the floor mats. As we have reported in recent weeks, Toyota has conducted the largest safety recall in its history. The owners of 3.8 million Toyota and Lexus vehicles were warned of potential problems with floor mats, which could cause the accelerator to get stuck and the automobile to speed up out of control. But late today, the Department of Transportation put out this statement. Removal of the mats is simply an interim measure not a remedy to the underlying defect in the vehicles. An underlying defect? Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has been looking into this, Brian. Well, Charlie, federal safety officials said today the underlying cause of the some 2,000 so-called runaway Toyotas remains under active investigation. Until today, Toyota had solely blamed either the wrong floor mats or driver error. The government statement comes as a growing number of Toyota owners are coming forward to insist that floor mats don't explain the mystery of what happened to them. The outcry began even before the tragic accident on this highway outside San Diego in August. A Lexus 2009, driven by an off-duty California Highway Patrol officer, was out of control. Our accelerator's stuck. We're in trouble. We can't. Well, there's no brake. A passenger called 911 from the back seat. We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Oh, Hold on, please. All four people in the Lexus died after it hit another car, crashed into an embankment, and burst into flames. Right Toyota said the problem was the wrong-sized all-weather rubber floor mat in the car, which caught and then held down the gas pedal. The company ordered a huge floor mat recall that federal officials urged consumers to follow. But across the country, some owners, including Paul and Saskia McLean of California, say floor mats can't be the only cause of the problem. The McLeans were driving in the Mojave Desert when their Toyota Highlander shot up to almost 100 miles an hour. Their car did not have the recalled floor mats. And you're certain there was nothing underneath the no, gas pedal? I looked. Yeah. I nothing. looked. I bent over and looked. No, there was nothing. In Portland, Oregon, Mariana Eisner's Lexus crashed into a truck after shooting out of control on the freeway this September. She says she had already heard about the floor mat problem and made a point of checking hers. The mat was nowhere near the accelerator. Some owners are now suing Toyota, claiming there must be a glitch in the basic electronic computer system that controls the throttle. We've all experienced computer glitches and using our own personal computers where something just happens. We don't know why. Federal investigators say they have not been able to find any such defect in six separate investigations. But the number of runaway Toyota complaints sharply increased after the electronic system was put into use in 2002 according to safety analyst Sean Kane. This problem can't be explained solely by floor mats. In a statement posted online, a Toyota official discounted reports of electronic or other possible defects. There is no evidence to support these theories. But today, federal safety officials said Toyota was wrong to suggest its cars had been given a clean bill of health by the government. So the investigation of this mystery continues, Charlie. But, but, Brian, when you read this statement that came from the Department of Transportation this afternoon that says the floor mats are not a remedy to the underlying defect in the vehicles, but they don't identify what that defect is. Sounds like they don't know. We've talked to some of them today, and they tell us what it involves is the design of the driver's side floor and perhaps the design of the gas pedal, as first reported by the Los Angeles Times. As to the electronics, they say they haven't found a problem but the investigation continues, and they say that doesn't mean there isn't a problem. They haven't found one. Still leaves a real question, it seems to me, in the people who own Toyotas as to what's wrong. It's a huge question, and they call it a very potentially dangerous situation. All right, Brian Ross, thanks very much.